Hello everyone, Charmant Scene here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to configure um, BGP on Sophos. Um, so the reason why you'd want to configure um, the uh, Sophos to act as a BGP neighbor is for a couple of uh, reasons. Um, now, if you have a small network or a branch office, chances are you don't want you don't need to do this. But say your Sophos. Um, is your main firewall for your organization it's um let's say a uh a, you know a, a beefy firewall and uh, you want all the internet traffic or all the traffic um to go through the sophos um so what you can do is inject a default route um into the um routing tables of uh, all of the other routers via bgp so that makes it where the default route for all the um, the default route for all the networks uh, always hits the UTM. That's one reason. Another reason is to advertise uh, certain networks that um, the UTM may have. So, for instance, I can have many sub interfaces. So, as you see here, I have one for my wireless. Like for instance, I'm just broadcasting these ones. Sorry, but. If I go over to my interfaces, I have one for my lab, I have one for my wireless, I have one for my LAN or my internal network, stuff like that. So I want to be able to broadcast these sub interfaces out to, um, let's say, some other routers in my organization or something like that. So um, what you do, I have this just a basic, basic setup. So the configuration is very basic as well as um, um, I'll show you the functionality here so I have a in this case I believe it's just a Cisco 2621 whatever is in GNS3 and so what I uh, what I have here is the this router is peering with um, my UTM, so which is the 2.1. So when I do a show IP route, um, my gateway of last resort is 192.168.2.1, and that is not a static route, it's assigned by uh, BGP. So now when I trace route to say uh, 4.2.2.2 going out the internet, you'll see that um, it's going to hit uh, 2.1 okay which I mean this is on the 2. Dot network so 2.1 is the is the gateway but you get the picture anyways um, the default route was is now assigned by BGP and how we do this is you go uh, in order to configure BGP actually let's go over that so I'll shut off BGP okay actually first hold on here just uh, give the UTM a minute here Sorry, just need to log back in here. All right, so uh, BGP is under interface and routing. Then you have border gateway protocol. Okay, so I shut off BGP. Oh, it looks like it did take. Hmm, wonder what happened there. So I'll just delete the the neighbors. Okay. And that way we can start fresh. Okay. Okay. So 
what we'll need to do is first you have to uh, configure a BGP neighbor okay so you click on neighbor and click new BGP neighbor now you can make this a name you know um, to MTL let's say for Montreal and then I already have a host so uh, 192.168.2.22 okay let me just so now actually uh, this is before I get to configuring this you see now that there's no gateway so I won't be able to um, go out to the internet and that is because obviously um, we have no static route or default route we're getting all the uh, default route by um, BGP okay so oops 2.23 okay so I will just make the 2.23 this peer okay and now, uh, oh geez, I forgot. I forgot what AS I made this. Six five five two five, and then hit save. Okay. So that is the basics. Uh, in order to just enable BGP. Now, what the next step is is you'll have to. Uh, you have to specify the AS number that you have notice I'm using 655 uh, and then whatever numbers that's because it's a private AS I'm not routing this over the internet um, a lot of uh, a lot of people who run internal like IBGP you know like your MPLS and stuff like that you can use private AS numbers they don't have to be registered the router ID now the router ID is um, you know you can assign it whatever you need to so in this case I've just done one nine two one six eight one dot two fifty four okay and then uh, click here to say what networks you want to advertise out your BGP so I want um, let's say my internal address and my wireless networks not address okay I'm not going to put my lab network because um, this router is on my lab so I'm not going to broadcast I'm not going to advertise my lab network or else it's just gonna be a mess uh, it'll cause a whole whack load of issues so hit apply okay so you see that BGP has come up I'm not showing you the Cisco configuration, uh, although um, I'll just show you again very, very basic config. So all I got is a neighbor allowing um, uh, salt reconfiguration inbound is all I really have done here. I haven't done any route maps. I haven't done MD5 or anything like that. Although in my next video I will show you um, how to configure. Uh, BGP to be a bit more secure on uh, on the UTM okay so next uh, you'll see that I I don't have a default route yet and I still cannot get out the internet okay so this in a way um, is exactly what we want we don't want um, we don't want traffic um, we don't want traffic to leave without going through our firewall um, but we're able to communicate with internal traffic so for instance um, I can ping uh, 192.168.1.254 okay um, you know 1.2 I can ping all internal but I cannot get outside at this time okay so that's good now if we had a bunch of these routers so say this router is in Toronto or sorry this this one we said was Montreal so I don't get confused 
Montreal. So okay, so say this is in Montreal, and our our firewall is out in um, Toronto, and now you know you use either a VPN tunnel, DMVPN, whatever you're using to have all your sites connect back to the uh, UTM. Okay, so what um, what we're going to do is enable a setting within BGP called default originate. So go down to advance and click default originate and then hit save. Okay. So once you hit default originate, um, the, um, the neighbor will reset and now you're going to get a default route of 192.168.2.1 and look at the the default route it is by BGP. So now if I do ping 4.2.2.2 I'm out to the internet. And now that is how we're able to have all of these sites. You can of course you can do this all manually via a static route. Um, you don't only need to do it with BGP either. I mean you, there's other ways of doing it. But BGP is another way of doing it and as you can see um, it's pretty simple to configure now BGP is a very complex protocol but if you're running just simple networks maybe you have like a handful of networks and stuff even this configuration will probably do you well um, and so that's that's how you configure BGP on uh, Cisco uh, on a Cisco router connected to Sophos and now almost the idea is the same no matter what vendor uh, you have your BGP neighbor and um, and uh, you know, we're connecting and the goal is that the default route is a Sophos and so we can make sure that all of our traffic is going through the Sophos. If you have any questions or comments on any one of my videos please leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me sean at seanmancini.com and uh, visit my website seanmancini.com Thanks for watching everyone.